around here, but these two are, they're bosom pals. You can't separate them. They sleep together. They only come oh. and they have to go to bed with their mothers at night. But, uh, so that they're half brother, half sister. But Gaudi was describing particularly how the, the shape of the head is considered like a ram's head, sort of, um, with a very muscular jaw. Really. Yeah, but not all of their horses are like that. No. Some of their horses are like that. And no. I think those are the ones that have gone back to the Gatman because they, they've these mixed cars, all like these. Max ones, right? Yeah, so if they'd asked the Turkmans and mm. we'd have made a lot of the mistakes they did, mm. like all the twisted out right front feet and all the monarchism mm. and various other oh, problems. Well, one, of one testicle only, which they have a lot of. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, the, 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 see, fortunately here still you can see these various different strains and mm -hmm. you, you can see it coming out on the Achateke. You can see where you know the, the Gatman strain well, comes mm -hmm. out and you can see where the Yamut or the Buklan strain comes out. I mean I can look mm -hmm. at that book of theirs that they put out, Heavenly Horses or something, so and I can tell exactly which strain it is, maybe this kind of And you think they've kept the strains that pure then, have they? Here. Well, generally, I mean, surely there must have been. No, there must have been it's a family thing. thing. No, it's a sort of a family thing, really. You know, mm -hmm. well, one farm will maybe he likes bay horses, maybe he likes Gatun horses. Mm -hmm. Somebody else likes something else, and mm -hmm. uh, and it doesn't take very many generations to change but it. But suppose you know somebody sees a somebody who normally breeds Gatun horses sees a fantastic Teke and or a Yamush or something and thinks they'd like to breed that they wouldn't. horses. They wouldn't. They wouldn't. Would they? No. They wouldn't do it. They would say, right, so concerned about like purity, I mean, isn't it? You, you, you wouldn't find a boy and buying a mare that doesn't have a good hind end on her. Yeah. Uh, so gradually, even this God type of shape here is beginning, people can now tell which horses are ours, because they, they, even though they're, we're mixing the strains together, we have to, because there aren't yeah. enough of each one. But, but they all have a right, similar right. conformation. So the, the color can be anything except not too much white. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't buy a horse with a lot of white in it. We, we sometimes, you know, they happen to us. Uh, yes. But I wouldn't actually go out and buy one. I prefer something like this that's mm. solid color. Mm. Mm. And you say a good back end of it. Now, it's interesting that um, Khan has got a very, very flat rump, and even now as he's sort of fed and fit, if you stand up above him and look down, he's almost triangular. And mm -hmm. Lara, the new man that I brought from Stadelborn, mm -hmm. who's lovely in every respect, is the same. She's oh, really? very, very flat rumped. Uh, now, what, yeah. Would you say no, that's I, a I characteristic would, of any particular? Well, I don't know, but uh, a, a certain one basically would not buy a horse like that or raise it. Notice that she's, she's got that slope that goes down to the tail. Mm -hmm. And it's long here, so that gives you a lot of muscle and they can get their hind ends. So, a very set tail is good, is it? it well, mm -hmm. it's good for. I mean, I, I wouldn't have to. It looks quite a high set tail on the gray horse. Yeah, it's quite a high set tail as well. She carries it a little bit high. But uh, someone like that, there has been some Arab blood that came in at one point also. Are you filming all this, Carol? See, that's mm -hmm. so, But she doesn't have actually any Arab blood, although I know of two, three stallions that have grown in the last uh, century. Mm -hmm. But this, this one's pure, pure, and she was tested at by mm -hmm. Gus Cothran. Uh, in Kentucky. All, all of the older mares were tested. We haven't bothered with the younger ones because well, the Americans. Uh, Dunwan is pure Yamut. That one is partly thawed and they belong to, it came down with Giardis and... Uh, this one here coming in. Go to Canada, yeah. yeah. It looks like it's got some thoroughbred in it. Yeah, she does. And, and that one is over 30 years old, uh, pure Yamut. Uh, coming after that is a, that's a Yabu mare. Oh, what the that? Yeah, dark bay. She's uh, Yabu and she's a pacer. Huh. After that is a uh, is a Yamut mare. After that one, the Palomino is also, but that, that's uh, that, that's almost pure off of the game. Okay? And the Palomino is uh, partly that one. The other one is the daughter of the. Yeah, right. It's, it's kind of hard, right? And this this one's mother was a Buklan. The okay. one going in now, the yeah, black. Yeah, and the father is a half. Bay. I'll take it. That's right, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's your friend, Royale. Yeah. Oh, that's lovely. She's really she's difficult to pay, though, because it's just. Well, the, all, the, all, the, all the, these horses move very flat, too. Mm. They, they, they don't pick up their knees. They, um, that, that's why they're so comfortable to ride, because they just, oh, they're, they're too smooth like that, other mm. than the arrows that go up and down the waist all around. Yes. Okay, there is uh, the, the chestnut is a Jagalani Yamut, and the other one is a great pacer. Um, her back up by the saddle, the gray, yeah. She's a Yamut also.
Is it? This one here is the, the, the chestnut. Yeah. That's the color of the horses in the Pasirik. The, the golden horses? Oh, it's uh, that, that color. color. It's well not. Done. No, it's not. It's, it's that chestnut. Color. They were all chestnut without <laughs> white markings. <laughs> and she just has a tiny. But you notice the sheen on it. Yes. That's the golden horse. Right. All those horses in there were chestnuts. So, Khan is the right color after all. Yes, he is. She's, she's, uh, the, 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 she's got a little bit of alcohol taking in her. Um, I'm not sure if it's the sun or if she's a rather strange kind of, sort of bronzy kind of chestnut. Well, she is. It's it, When the, the sun hits her right, you can't look at her. She's so, yeah. I mean, it's so bright. It really hits you. I don't know. Yeah, so Did you say the little chestnut was a yamut? She's a yamut, yes. Yeah. That's nice. Uh, it's just beginning to think I could tell the difference, but she looks. Like well, fine th they. Uh, <laughs> See how flat they move? See that? No, watch the panther. She's not nice. She's barely Looking articulating her, her knees. And they all do that. So sitting on her canter is fantastic because when you hold a glass of water like that, it's just smooth. And they, oh, they're all like this, unlike the, the action of the, um, of the Arab times. And they're all slightly sickle hot. She's a little bit too sickle hot. But I was checking out the early paintings, uh, Bridget, of um, uh, Zahnbrand. They're yeah. all sickle hot. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Stotz awesome. is, isn't he? Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Jim and, and, and some of them really are hot. even as sickle hot as that man. She's yeah. too sickle hot. No, um, Stubbs is. Yeah. Jim Crack? The other thing that's really interesting is, um, oh, look, baby talk mark. about the low stealing action, you know, where they, yeah. because on um, West Australian that was from Lord Oxford's Don Arabian, yeah. came down through that, uh. um, certainly one of the things they said about him was this remarkable low stealing action, uh. so he just, he just had a really flat action. Yeah. Right, so I mean, Which like, like Royer, yeah. he doesn't bend his knees. No. I mean, she no. doesn't. She had all, all the movement is from the shoulders, yeah. Yeah. not from the knees. And that incredibly sloping And the way, yeah. the way the head comes up when they gallop, that sort of seems to be designed to give the shoulder even more room to move. Probably, yeah. But they, they, they're amazing that way. Then uh, They use their bodies a lot, and, but they, they, and the, the legs just sort of... It feels like riding a whippet like, riding car, and it's sort of... The first time I counted him, he was fit. He actually banged me in the backside of the saddle until I got used oh, to really? those few strides. Because you know, he just curled up so much. Yeah. Huh. What's the uh, they, these are all Jagalani's, and they all belong to uh, Brent. Yes. They're waiting to go to Canada. The, the chestnut filly is not season nine. that one, the Arne Grey one. Yeah. Do you know, it's amazing that Gatman, the white Gatman, is just yeah. like Lachine, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. extraordinary. It is. It's a real similarity, and they're yeah. not like anything else. They've got that no, very not. strange, exotic. Yeah, it's really amazing. Spirits. I mean, you, you you can tell a Gatman immediately. Yeah. I mean, just you know, just looking at the head, you can tell yeah. it's a Gatman. Yeah, because they've got very their ears and put it on quite on a small area. I mean, they're not uh, wide set. Yeah. Uh -huh. And they're just and that's sort of quite wide eyes. In small days, it's gosh, I wish I had a photo of Colin to ask you. I've got a photo of Colin here. 